Welcome back to This is Arlington, Arlington High's student-produced television show. Today's episode is part two of our season finale. On today's show, we'll reflect on our time in class this year, hear future plans from our seniors, and more. We don't want to keep you waiting any longer. This is Arlington starts now. This week, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee signed the Forever Homes Act. This should be very happy news to any Shelby County residents who are looking to adopt a child. If you have or know anyone who has adopted children, then you are aware of how lengthy the process is. On average, adopting a child locally can take anywhere from 6 to 18 months. If you are adopting a newborn, it can take over 2 years. And if you are adopting a child internationally, it can take over 6 years. This is a huge problem for many foster parents, and they have every right to be mad. But this new bill will slash that time in half, streamlining the process to ensure you can see your new child sooner. Seniors, here are some important dates coming up to keep in mind. Cap and gown pickup is next Friday, May 12th from 10 to 10.30 in the wrestling facility. A mandatory graduation practice will be held Tuesday, May 16th at 10 a.m. at Bellevue Baptist Church, where graduation will also be held later that evening at 7. Check-in for seniors begins at 5.30. We can't wait to see you all there. For our final episode of Exploring 901, we wanted to explore something really special and unique for all of 901. Food so good, they say it's worth dying for. When I'm walking in Memphis, just walking with my feet ten feet off a of beam, walking in This week on Exploring 901, we're going to Gus's. Now, Gus's world famous fried chicken started right here in the 901, but now it has over 30 locations in 13 different states, but it hasn't forgotten its roots here in Tennessee. Now, unlike Nashville Hot Chicken, this wonderful establishment has a very different and delicious recipe that it uses to make its very own chicken. But this recipe is top secret, and even we, the invincible reporters at AHS, don't know the recipe. And their food is worth dying for. I, I ate way too much. The food was amazing, the service was great, and the atmosphere was wonderful. Exploring 901, I'm Matthew Donahoe. What teacher over the last four years has had the biggest impact on your life? Ooh, that's a hard question. Um, probably Ms. Parham. Uh, she is my dual credit pre-cal teacher. And I think this year I've just learned the most that I've ever learned in math or any subject, really. And she's also really fun and super easy to talk to. And like I feel like I could talk to her about anything, so probably her. So I'd say Mr. Ashby because he's the one who really encouraged me to continue and pursue film. I was going to stop after um, the first year I took it, but then I decided to continue, and so far I've been really enjoying it. For sure, Mr. Purcell. He showed me that most teachers are really chill, and he, he, listen, he usually understands like why my, lay, why my work is late and everything. I would probably say Miss Fletcher. I've had her for three years in a row, and it was never for English. She teaches 10th grade English, but I didn't even have her for that. And she teaches newspaper, but I have her third period, and I've had her third period every single day since my sophomore year. And I met my best friend in that class, and she's also just become one of my really good friends, too. She's so funny, so I love Miss Fletcher. It's definitely got to be Miss Wilson. She's an art teacher at Arlington High School. She pushes me to be the best version of myself. And yeah, that's it. I really always, I've had good teachers throughout my high school, um, but one teacher more specifically uh, is Mr. Scarce. Uh, he was my Algebra 2 teacher in uh, last year, 11th grade, and I've always not really been a math person. I've always struggled with math, but his class was always really fun, and he always was easy to talk to and ask questions for, and he really helped. In, uh... Coach White, I would say Coach White. He made. Uh... AP classes and kind of honors classes and the whole smart kid thing not seem so nerdy and so unfun, you know. He, uh, he always cut up and had a good time, but when it was time to get down to business, he got down to business. And my last question for you is, 
Are you ready to go tell them? No. Yes. I can go tell them. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't want to do that. That's crazy. For those of you not familiar with the TV production class, we treat each other like a family. But like any family, there's always the weird ones. We'll see what each of us really think about each other as we all answer a comical question. Let's check it out. All right, Diego, we'll start with you. Who would you not let date your kid in the class? I would say Eli Crabtree just because he's Eli. And who would you not let date your kid? Zeb Mims. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Olivia Swatowski. Who from the TV production class would you not let date your kid? Uh, you. <laughs> Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Ooh, probably Zeb. <laughs> Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Not let? I wouldn't let any of them. All of them are bad people. Who would you not let date your kid? Milan. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Milan Bailey. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Lila Scobie. Yeah, yeah. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Jake Stoop. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Uh, Matthew Donahoe. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Um, Zeb. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Juliana Brower. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Milan. Who from the class would... <laughs> Who from the class would you not let date your kid? I would 100% never let Christopher Ray Beck date my child. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Matthew. Who from the class would you not let date your child? Cameron Bobbitt. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Alex Latham. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? I don't think I would let anybody in this class date my kid. Who from the class would you not let date your child? Olivia Swatowski. I wouldn't let my kid date Matt. <laughs> Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Brent Lyons. Who from the class would you not let date your child? Um, probably... What's his name over there? Evan! <laughs> Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Probably Zoe. Who from the class would you not let date your child? Hmm, Matthew. Ryan. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Um, I wouldn't let Lila date my kid. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Um, probably Milan Bailey. Who from the class would you not let date your kid? Chris Beck. Mm -hmm. Who in the class would you not let date your kid? Love him, but Matthew Donahoe. <sighs> Matthew Donahoe could never, ever date my child. No matter how much he begs and pleads, I would never, ever, ever let him touch my daughter or son. What are your plans for after high school? I'm going to Mississippi State and I'm majoring in child development. Going to college, the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I'm going to go to Memphis and major in nursing. So my plans after high school is I commit to Lincoln University, so I'm going to go there and play football. And Try make it to the league. Um, I'm gonna fly, so I'm probably gonna go to MTSU. That's what I'm looking at right now. So. What are your plans for after high school? I will be attending the University of Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi State Community College. It's like a community college right by UT, like 15 minutes away. Um, I plan to attend the University of Mississippi and major in nursing. After high school, I am attending the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss and 
I'm majoring in business management. I'm not sure what I want to be yet, so. I'm going to the University of Knoxville and majoring in psychology. Um, I'm going to Coastal Georgia, majoring in business, and I'm also getting my real estate license. What are your plans for after high school? Uh, go to college. Where are you going? Southwest Community College. I plan to go to Coastal Georgia and move to the beach. Um, I plan on attending the University of Memphis and majoring in nursing. I am attending Ole Miss and I am majoring in psychology. Mr. Ashby, you know I would never lie to you on purpose, but had to take a second, go behind your back for a minute, and plan a little project specially for you. So I just want you to take a look at what we have for you guys um, on behalf of the class of 2023. Mr. Ashby, he has helped me like become like a better film person as it is, because I do really love film and stuff like that. So I love Mr. Ashby just because of how encouraging he is. Mr. Ashby has helped me this past year um, become a better director and make me more confident behind the camera. To start off, um, I've had him Mr. Ashby for two classes. I took him for dual enrollment uh, intro to film and uh, <clears throat> this class TV production. Uh, and in both classes, he's been, he just has like this uh, charisma and like care for um, the subjects that he teaches. Um, so first off, Mr. Ashby's just been a great teacher. I've had him sophomore year for intro to film. Um, and he really encouraged me to get more involved. Well, he ain't been a really awesome teacher. I could say that. You know, he, he really showed me like how good putting in effort into something like the, the output that it gives, how much of a, a wave that can, that can kind of stir, you know, in a lot of people. Just by like being one of those teachers who's like, you feel like almost he can't get mad at you. And just like, he's one of those teachers who like, you can go to for advice, especially in film and anything else, you can just sometimes sit down and talk to him. And I became a producer this year, which is really great because it showed that he like trusted me a lot and knew I was a hard worker. Um, he's not one of those teachers that um, is just kind of just going to teach you what he wants to teach you and he's going to move on. Um, he's going to check the box, but he's really that guy that wants you to get the most out of what you're learning. And I think that's been something that I've always respected in him, um, is it's not his job, it's his passion. And I think that's the difference between other teachers and himself. No other teacher has like impacted me as much as Mr. Espy has. And uh, that has really motivated me to do uh, the best that I can in both of his classes. You know, for intro to film, he was really passionate about all the films that we watched. And even outside of the assignments, he talked about, you know, various little pieces of trivia about the films that were pretty cool to know. And then um, in TV production, you know, that's where uh, <clears throat> I really got to know him. And he's been very, he's been a motivating factor in my, um, in, in, the, in this class, in my class. And uh, he's, uh, he has this cre creative aura. He encouraged me to get more involved and take film too and TV production and some other classes. Um, so he's just been a really awesome teacher who's encouraged me all the way through. And to be honest, I can't wait to do it next year. And he's really like helped me with advice, rather it's like, you know, for school or personal, but he's been a really good teacher and a really good friend. Um, he's always equipped me. He's known my skills, but he's also known what I can grow in and get better at, and he's always equipped me to do so, um, putting me in positions that I need to grow in. Um, so I love Mr. Ashby. He's always been an influence for me. Like, whenever I need help, like, deciding on uh, a topic or something to make a film on, he's always there. He, he already has the ideas swirling in his head. He, he has, like, this vision uh, that he can create in like a second's notice, in like a moment's notice, and I really like that about him. That's what makes him special. I love Mr. Ashby. <laughs> I love Mr. Ashby. I love Mr. Ashby. Mr. Ashby's really cool. I love you, Mr. Ashby. I love Mr. Ashby. I love Mr. Ashby. We love you, Mr. Ashby. It's been an exciting year in the TV production class. We sat down with all the seniors and asked them to reflect on their time in TV this year. My name is Chris Beck and I'm going to college at Full Sail University. I'm going to study filmmaking and television. My name is Macy Webb. I'm going to Memphis. I'm going to be majoring in nursing or pre-med. I'm Matthew Donahoe, and I'm going to UAH to study computer science. Hi, I'm Maria Carico, and I'm going to go play soccer for Southwest Community College. <laughs> What's up? 
My name is Jake Stoop. I will be attending Full State University next fall, majoring in sports broadcasting. Um, hi, my name is Brent Lyons. I'm going to the University of North Alabama, and I will be studying coaching as well as running. Uh, after recent times with my family and friends, I'm blessed to announce my commitment to University of Memphis. Thank you. Hi, my name is Eli Crabtree, and I'm blessed to say that I'll be taking my talents to Rhodes University, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be majoring in. Is that fine? My name is Cameron Bobbitt, and I am blessed to say that I'm going to be attending Rhodes University. Um, I plan on majoring in environmental sciences because I love the bees. Hi, I'm Courtney Fensel. I'm going to the University of Tennessee, and I plan on majoring in psychology. Hey, I'm Lila Scobie. I'm planning on going to the University of Mississippi and majoring in journalism and new media. Hey, my name is Milan Bailey. Uh, I plan to either go to trade school or have a gap year. My name is Alex Latham. I plan on going to the University of Tennessee at Knoxville and majoring in forensic anthropology. Hi, my name is Crystal Coleman and I'll be going to the University of Knoxville and majoring in sports medicine and physical therapy. Hi, I'm Lyndon Pace, and I'm going to the University of Memphis, and I'm majoring in business. Hi, my name is Yara Cahill. I'm going to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and I'm majoring in pre-dental. Hi, I'm Kayla Menard. I'm going to UT Knox, and I'm majoring in pre-med. I'm going to Southwest for my first two years of college, and I'm going to major in psychology and minor in criminal justice. Uh, my name is Mayur Sharif. Uh, I plan on attending the University of Memphis, and I'll major in computer science. Hi, my name is Bri Alvarado. I'm going to LSU and I plan to major in political communications. My name is Juliana Brower. I'm attending the University of Knoxville and I'm majoring in psychology. Hello, my name is Olivia Slikowski and I am going to be going to Coastal Georgia and my major is business. Hi, my name is Ava Seiler. I plan on going to Ole Miss next year and I'm majoring in psychology. Hi, my name is Zed Mims. Uh, my top colleges are UT Chat and then uh, Pepperdine. I'm probably going to major in either special education or auto mechanics. Ah, there's so many. I can't decide. My favorite memory is probably running through the halls for people's segments and always on the treasure hunt for my SD card. Probably uh, dressing up as a vampire for the Halloween special because I got to dress up as a vampire the entire day. Meeting new people, that's, that's really great in this class. Also being able to like experience the job of being a producer. Filming the movie trailer for our Valentine's show because Brent fell in love with me and it's just really special. My memory in TV production is making Cupid's Corner with Yara. My favorite memory uh, from TV production was the Halloween show. It was when Tiger Kitchen, we did the Halloween special. It was lots of fun. Uh, probably filming the Halloween show. It was the Halloween show. Halloween show when I got to dress as a zombie and I got to bark live on the show. I got to grab my skeleton, Hueso, who I keep in my car. I grabbed him by the neck and I threw him across the room and then tackled him. Um, I don't remember what the bit was, but I do remember his head came off and I think his foot hit my dog. Crystal and Grayson got into a fight and Grayson told Crystal she was like the worst friend he's ever had. My favorite memory from TV production is like on the first day when we did the circle thing and got to know each other. Was definitely going to the zoo and filming Exploring 901. Porter, um, Mr. Ashby had me and Jake make a, a project for Men in Hoodies, like a short skit. And it wasn't the best skit, but um, but we got to get Roman to come back. Me in TV production was filming Face Off with Evan Norman. Probably been learning how to anchor and getting close to all my friends. Be going to Donaldson to film with the elementary students. Exploring 901s with Matt. Uh, we got to go to Gibson's Donuts and we had a really fun time. Mr. Ashby paired me and Lila with these two guys that I did not know. Um, and then we just became hashtag film squad. When me, Bree, and Ava dressed up in Halloween costumes and we walked around the cafeteria in them. I think my favorite memory from TV production would have to be working on the Valentine's Day episode. 
Just because it was very different. We got to get out of our comfort zones and it was fun. There was a situation I had with Mr. Ashby last year. Uh, Mr. Ashby considered leaving to go to Lakeland um, and start up their TV production class um, in their film department. And that was a moment where I was like super happy for him, but I was also devastated at the same time because I was like, we're losing our teacher. Um, and he was sad, he was crying when we met in his office about it. And then the next week he comes and says, guys, I couldn't do it. I couldn't sleep at night because the decision I was making was impacting me so bad, I have to stay. And obviously it paid off. He won teacher of the year. He's been so great in our class. Hello, Arlington High School. Mr. Ashby here with the seniors of the TV production class. It's been a tradition. Uh, every year at the end of the year, our last TV show, we bring all the seniors out and kind of say goodbye to them. This is an amazing group of students right here. I wouldn't change this group for any other group in the world. Uh, I do have to say that um, I've known a lot of these people for a number of years now. Uh, the only person I've known all four years who's not here, who didn't come to school, was Eli Crabtree, okay? <laughs> Other than that, everyone else I've known for three years or two years, or I've gotten to know them this year. Uh, this is just a stellar group of people that I'm going to miss quite a lot. I love you all. Uh, there are some big, big, big shoes to fill for next year. Brent, you surprised me. <laughs> that got to me. I almost cried in the control room. I'm saving my tears for later. Um, y'all, I, I love you all so much. Y'all know that if you ever need anything, you know where I'm at. You know where to find me. And, uh, and I'm really going to miss you all very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, that having been said, uh, Bree and Matt, do you want to go ahead and close the show out for us today? All right. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode of This is Arlington. Be sure to check out our other high school content on our YouTube channel, AHS Tiger Life. It's okay, Bree. It's okay. I'm Bree. so it's sorry. Okay. Go ahead, I'm Matt. so sorry. Right. We're still uh, going. Come back to this high school because we have Tiger Life Media. We're about to sign off for our summer break, but please turn on post notifications to see when more content is posted. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We hope you enjoy your summer. <laughs> 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 To blow up an out of it. that